real scoop on SHOT Show? Yeah. Listen up, sister. I don't want to be one of those people that just comes up and is like, excuse me. I'm very important. I have stuff to talk to you about. Shot, shot show etiquette. Um, like everyone so has do done. It like when it what you do is you just stare at them you're today, and, until, they, until they know how much you want to talk yeah, to them. I know you're not my rep. So. Yeah. No, well, I mean, I got, what's up? What you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> because we wanted to ask you a question. Oh, okay. What's up, guys? I actually wanted to know what's up with the, the wild card. But, yeah. yeah. Oh, are are we, is this serious? I know nothing. Yeah, this oh, is this for real. Yeah. The wild card. This is going to be a limited edition run. We're only going to be doing a thousand pieces on this. Cool. Um, if you guys have been hitting the medallion nice, yeah, right? cool. Like wild card, you know what I mean? Yeah. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, if you guys have been following us, we're uh, about to release our smoke wagon, which is going to be a nickel-plated single action CO2 powered revolver, which I'm kind of excited about. Like, you know what I mean? Nothing yeah. says like, I hate you more than cocking it back and just letting it rip. I just want to do like <laughs> two stuff. Yes, yeah. I've got two guns, one about, for each of yeah. you. <laughs> and that's where the name came from. If, if, if you guys are familiar with Tombstone, when, uh, who is that, Kurt Russell? Is that Kurt Russell in Tombstone? Yeah, it's Kurt Russell. When he, when he uh, pistol whips Billy Bob Thornton in the face and says, you're going to stand there and bleed, you're going to chuck, that's, that's where the name that's came from. That's my smoke wagon. That's my smoke wagon. So, um, yeah, another spin off that is going to be the wild card. So, as you guys can see, it's going to be a cut down version of it. So, the original mold has kind of like a ported cut down barrel on it. We thought, you know what would be kind of cool if guys could have something to actually aim with. This is going to be something that's going to be used for up close and personal use, anyways, but having that front sight to be on there or off there, you know, removable is kind of a nice touch. It is set preset for uh, 0.25 BBs, though, so you're good to go on that. CO2 powered again. The shells will be interchangeable with the smoke wagon. It's got that nice weathered oh, cool. kind yeah, of it looks black cool. finish to it. Kind I dig. It's hefty too, right? Like, yeah. It's got some weight to it. Can and the other can thing, you, can you do? Can you spin it? You can do what you want. You got, yeah. Nice. Get it. Wait, wait. Move your badge and, yeah. and hold that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. I can't Except see I should just be like. I can't see where your shirt says. Oh, God. <laughs> just put a gunshot sound. Yeah. Oh God. That's basically what I need to be. Just. Oh no. I'm all thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It's perfect. Uh, it does got the bevel on kind of the uh, the hammer there, so you can really fan that thing, and yeah. you know what I mean. So the wild card, right? Like a dude cheating at the poker table. That's what you. Uh, that's what you settle the argument with, I guess. Yep. We're safe. Yeah, we're safe. Right? I want to do like a Wild West cowgirl right. thing. No, right yeah. Now. Hell yeah, bro. I'm Wild West to a cowboy. You can be a cowgirl. I'll be a cowgirl. Yeah. If that's okay. Don't assume my cow gender. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If I break the only shot show prototype, you guys didn't see anything. Whoa. That's pretty good, brother. That is. <laughs> oh. yeah. And then just blood. <laughs> And then to commemorate the wild card, we came out with our limited edition poker chip That's with Elite Force. Cool. And this is actually worth a hundred dollars at any casino. So What? Yep. Like you if you're down, you're like me. you're like, I only got twenty dollars left and I'm gonna be broke, but I got this hundred dollar chip. Go ahead and spend that twenty because you're covered. Enjoy. Well, I'm gonna go gamble. See All right, later. Leah, yeah, have a good time. <laughs> Thank you. Hope you guys have a great shot show. <laughs> Check you next time. All right, let's go gamble. Evic has a giant booth this year. Holy cow. It looks awesome. Yeah, you're just releasing the tension on oh, that. Oh man, it looks so futuristic. It looks cool. is futuristic. Yeah. They're all solid maple too, so it's actually a nice piece of furniture. Yeah. <laughs> Proved it. Yep. Proved it. <laughs> okay, cover it up. I haven't installed mine yet. So. I got you. I have yet to magnets. What? Those have to be like super strong magnets. Yeah. Right now. yeah. They, you know, That's why you have to have it in your wall. Right. It's so heavy. Here we go. Tactical coffee table. See that? Dang. So what you're gonna do is you put it through your middle finger. Uh huh. Okay. 
And then you've got your, your button here. And there's where the voltage comes out. You can also use this to, you know, jab into somebody. Yeah. And then you've got the spikes. You know, because yeah. you're usually going to get attacked from behind if it's a human. Mm -hmm. So that's something to, yeah. you know, distract yeah. them and give you some distance. Or you know, maybe an animal, like a coyote. Depends on where yeah. you live and where you where you jog or walk or whatever. Right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, it's not going to kill anybody, but it's going to give you... Uh -huh. How are you doing, guys? <laughs> SHOT Show 2017. We're at the Elite Force booth. Uh, this year, we themed it with the Jet Experience. Uh, as we know, Jet is a huge guy in the airsoft industry. Kids love him. Women love him. I love him. You love him. And uh, we just really wanted to kind of emphasize on, on, on basking in the, everything that is Jet. The ambiance that he has to offer, the positivity, the flow. Just everything jet. So this is the jet experience. Here we go. Uh, over here, you can see jet. That picture was taken uh, late 2016 in Victorville. Uh, you can see that he chose to cut off three fingers on his glove and leave the pinky. Uh, tactically thinking, you're not really using that pinky. Honestly, it just gets in the way. A lot of operators cut it off. Jet said, you know what? I'm going to leave it on. Um, so yeah, next picture. Uh, as you can see. Those are going to be the Marpet. A lot of people freak out when they see Jet in the Marpet. The kids, it blows their mind. They love that stuff. Uh, you can see he's got the EG18X, I believe that's what it is. Yes, uh, yeah. It's one of his popular Enola Gay uh, products that he likes to deploy during uh, tactical LARP rating operations. Uh, over here, you can see Jet again in his infamous uh, Marpet design. He's going to be holding a CQB version of the Ares Amoeba. It does have the built in suppressor with the barrel going through the suppressor so you can maximize that efficiency of your range and accuracy. Got all the fingers um, on this. Yeah, one. really nice. There's a cool guy kind of in the middle. They chose to put the rack all over his face so you really can't see it. it it's also kind of like blurred out so you're not going to see that guy too much. Don't worry about him. This is the Jet experience. <laughs> Back to Jet. Jet right here. Uh, if you didn't know it's Jet, again, uh, it is. Some people don't know that. And then right down here, as you're coming into the Jet experience, you're going to see Boom, Jet. We want you to know that you're getting into the Jet experience. Um, again, everything that is Jet. And then just to top it all off, there's Jet right there. So, Jet, 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 Jet. Oh, oh. also And then also, yeah, this is not only do we want you to have fun and experience the Jet experience, but we want you to be able to take a piece of the Jet experience home with you. <laughs> <laughs> so, here it is right here. Um, 34 pages of Jet. Wow. <laughs> so. We also got a TV of Jet. Oh, yeah. The, <laughs> Don't yeah, forget it. Don't forget the TV of Jet. <laughs> hey, there's, a, there's my hand. there, too, Michael. Yeah. So, I mean, that's, just that's it, guys. You know, next year, um, it'll probably be the Jet experience again. Come back, and we'll just have to find out. See you I can't later. can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be here. Are you filming now? I'm filming. Tell All me. Right. Tell me what's up. Here's the real scoop. People think... Shot shows the mecca for guns, yeah. air guns, airsoft. Maybe not so much airsoft, but we squeeze our way in here. It's not the case. Y2K, it happened. Now, 90% of people are gun nuts. I don't know where I'm going with that. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, I came on really strong. You did, you did. I was pretty just, excited. I just and hit, then you yeah. Kind of crashed. But like I've been here before, walking around, right? Last year, you were there also, yeah. right? You Kept got you guys up. Hugs. Some, yeah, I got the hooker hugs. Um, almost happened again this year. I forgot to tell you wow. about that. Wow. So we're coming back the first night, and uh, Eric's having a good time. Eric likes to have a good time. I don't know if you've seen him. Insert picture of, uh, picture of Ewok right there yeah. for me. Thank you. Ewoks. Got it. And uh, we're coming back, and he's in rare form, about 10 vodka tonics deep. And uh, we're going up to the stair, and there's a nice lady that said, Hey, where are you guys going? I said, well, We're going to our room. And uh, I, I understood. What was happening? I said, I said, you're a nice lady, but we were just going to sleep. Thank you. Have you know, be safe. Have a good night. And uh, so Eric goes in the elevator. He's like, he's holding the door. I said, what are you holding the door for? And he's like, oh, I'm holding the door for the lady. And I'm like, no, she's uh, she's, she's not work. going to a hotel room she, that she owns. She's trying to do something. And you, you try to be nice. You don't want to insult their profession. You know what I yeah. mean? Uh, so yeah, so basically, so she gets in the elevator and I walk out and take Eric and I'm like, oh, hey Eric, come out here. And Eric's like, well, we gotta go to the room. And I'm like, no, we're not going to the room. <laughs> and uh, so that's how Eric almost- uh, Poor innocent Eric. Yeah, that's how Eric almost ruined his whole marriage basically. So <laughs> that's a scoop on that. Good job, good job.